Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. If you have watched my video about the CASA TP-Link uh, three-way switch, you probably have noticed that I did not include on how to link the Google Home app to the CASA. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to link the Google Home app to the CASA devices. So let's open the Google Home app. Uh, as you can see, there's no TP-Link devices in here or CASA devices in here. So there's no smart switch, there's no smart bulb, none of those TP-Link devices. But as you can see in here, I already have a lot of devices in here. So right now, I cannot control my lights. So even if I try it, hey Google, turn off the light. Sorry, it looks like that device hasn't been set up yet. You can do that in the Google Home app. So it doesn't work yet. So what I'm gonna do is add that service. So tap add or the plus button, set up device, and then you choose the, the second option, the one that says works with Google. So this one. So we're gonna look for the CASA app. So we're gonna type in CASA in here. TP-Link CASA. And then Log in with your account in here. Uh, so we're gonna enter the password. So now it's set up. Add smart home devices. Select devices and add to a room. So hallway light. So this is gonna be in the hallway. TV2 is in the small room. Or a small bedroom. Then kitchen outlet. One kitchen outlet. Two rice cooker. There's another one. Kitchen light. I think that's it for now. Kitchen. Actually, if I don't add these devices to a room and then if I ask Google to turn on something, uh, for example, a light, uh, it will not know which light to turn on. So it might turn on all the lights. Um, I'm not sure. So dining light. I don't I only have one thing in the dining area. So this is going to be dining room. Karaoke, this is gonna be in the living room uh, as well as my computer, the Mac, TV one, Blu ray, headphone amp, uh, AVR, and the printer. It's also in the living room. Okay, that's it. Living room. So this one is actually in the master bedroom. 
and this one is the outlet so these three are belong to the master bedroom so add to master bedroom and the oven is in the kitchen So this bulb belongs to the small bedroom. And the Nvidia shield, I thought I already assigned this. So living room. Okay, that's it. So as you can see, I already have all the smart devices belong to a room now. Now to demonstrate how cool this thing is, I'm gonna turn on the light in the living room. So it's not gonna turn on the lights in the other rooms. Hey Google, turn on the light. And as you can see, that's the dining light right there, and then the kitchen. Hey Google, turn off the light. Hey Google, turn on all the lights. Got it, turning on six lights. So right now it turned on all the lights. Hey Google, turn off the light. So it turned off the light in the living room, but not in the kitchen, the dining, and the hallway. Hey Google, turn off all the lights. Okay, turning off six lights. So now they're turned off. And as you can see on my demo, I have two TVs. I named the TVs as TV1 and TV2. TV1 is the, in the living room and TV2 is in the small room. So I'm gonna ask Google to turn on the TV in the living room. But I'm not gonna specify which TV it is. So hey Google, turn on the TV. Sure, turning on the TV1. See it only turned on the TV that I am in. Um, so if I go to the small room, it's only going to turn on TV2. Unless if I specify which TV it is, then it will only turn on the TV in the room that I'm in. Hey Google, turn off the TV. Okay, turning off the TV1. So that's what's cool about the Google Home. Um, you don't really have to specify which light or device it is as long as you are in the same room. But if you are not in the same room and then if you want to control the other device in the other room, then you have to specify it. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and stay busy everyone and I will see you in the next one.